Now this is a question of writing your answer in the standard form or the scientific form. So let's read the question. A meteor in space travels at 42 million kilometers per hour. So this is a meteor traveling at 42 kilometers per hour. How far does it travel in one day? Write your answer in kilometers per hour and in the standard form. So let's, uh, in one day, suppose one day is 24 hours. One day is 24 hours. So this is, the meteor is traveling 42 million kilometers in one hour. So in one day, so you can say in one hour, it travels 42 million, six zeros is 42 million kilometers. That's the speed. So in 24 hours, it would travel 42 million. So let me write 42 million to be short. So 42 m million times 24. So which is, so let's use a calculator. So this is 42 million has six zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six times 24. So this is 1008. How many zeros? Six zeros. So 1008 million. So this is 1.008 uh, or 1.008 billion. Okay, so I'll write as it is. So this is 1008 million. You can say that 1008 million. So this is 1008 uh, and then you've got six zeros because, okay, I ought to uh, explain this in a different way. If you go 42 times 24 is 1008. Okay, so this is 1008 and then you have to put six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one, one million, so one billion uh, and eight million. Okay, so this is this huge number. Now you want to write this in a standard form or the scientific form. Okay, so now to write this in a scientific form, what is standard form or scientific form? So the standard form, so let me first explain that. Standard form, in some books they call the scientific form. So let me explain that first. Now scientific form is a form where you write this in two numbers. So what do I mean by that? Suppose if you want to write in the scientific form, say 24,000. 24,000, suppose, has, can be written as 24,000 point, 24,000 point zero. Now this is written as 2.4 times 10 to the power 4. Okay, now what has happened is, I remember it like this, this decimal point has moved 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So you have to multiply by 10 to the power of 4. Or using logic, this 2.4 has become 10 to the, if you compare, when you're writing 24,000 as 2.4, you're making this 10,000 times smaller. Okay, I'll show this on a calculator. So if you want to understand logic, 2.4, okay, 2.4, times 10,000 gives you 24,000. So let me sh explain that so you can use a calculator. So, so 2.4 times 10,000. 10,000 is 24,000. Okay. And 10,000 as a power of 10 is 10 to the power that's why 24,000 is 2.4 times 10 to the power 4. And to remember, this is how I remember, this This decimal point has moved 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. So you have to raise it by a positive number. Suppose, let us take, suppose, say, 250. 250 is nothing but 250.0. Okay. And you, you, if you want to write this as a 
standard now standard form or scientific form this is 2.5 times 10 to the power 2 now in the standard form what we do is this number is any number between 0 and 10 this first number should be a number between 0 and 10 or oh, sorry between 1 and between 1 and 10 any number between 1 and 10 and this number has to be a power of 10 okay so let me suppose what happens suppose if you have a number like this 0 0.0056 okay now this is a small number and if you want to write this as a standard form this decimal point has to move one two three places to the right so this is 5.6 times it has moved three places to the right be 10 to the power negative 3. So this has become 10 3 times bigger. So you have to raise it by 10 to the power negative 3. So let me explain that. So let me let us see this on a calculator. So if you go 5.6 times 10 raised to negative sorry 5.6 times 10 raised to negative 3 is oh, the calculator cannot this is nothing but 5.6 times 10 to the power okay so if suppose let me put 0 0.0056 so this is the calculator tell is telling you is 5.6 times 10 this e is stands for 10 to the power negative 3 okay so let me take one more example say if it is 0 0.0000 7.5 okay so here this will be 7.5 times what this decimal point has moved how should move how many places one two three four five places to the right it will be 10 to the power negative five so you've got four zeros and then seven five so you'll write 0 0.1234 Seven five. The calculator will say 7.5 e to the power e is 10 10 to the power negative 5. Okay, so here this number, if you want to write this as a standard form, this the decimal point is sitting here. You have a decimal point sitting here. So this decimal point has to move 3. This is I'll jump in 3s. This is a jump of 3 then this is a jump of 6 and this is a jump of 9 so this is nothing but 1.008 times 10 to the power of 9 this is your answer so we'll check this on a calculator so you have 1008 and then 60 so let me type in 1.008 times 10 to the power 9, which is 1008, and you got 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is correct.